There's been so many companies that are very frivolous with the retro gaming garbage nowadays that I just have to wonder, especially with stuff like this, the Dream Gear My Arcade. Like, th how many of these are sitting in landfills right now? Like, this company, My Arcade, they make a ton of stuff like this, and I've never used one of their consoles before. I've played, like, some of their handhelds and their little arcade machines, and they're just, eh, meh, whatever, right? I mean, they're kind of, like, impulse buy items, but this thing was originally 40 bucks at CVS. I got it at, like, a swap meet, like, a year ago, and I just set it aside, forgot about it. Five bucks, but I, I, I don't know for sure. That's the most I paid for it. Maybe I haggled and got it down to a couple bucks. I don't remember. But this thing, the Game Station Retro, there's a couple versions of this. This is the Data East Hits one. There's another one that didn't come with the Data East games. So this has eight Data East games plus 300 random boo-boo games. I mean, I, I, I guess I got to hold my tongue here, bite my tongue, because maybe these games are amazing. But the, the track record I've had with my arcade, I just, I'm not going to hold my breath, Okay. But this thing came out, this version came out in 2017, the same year as the Nintendo Switch. And how do you connect this to a TV? With freaking composite cables. And it looks like it's just mono, um, you know, mono audio. What is up with that? Plug and play console with three unique controllers. Yeah. This item had electronically protected so you can't steal this shit. Who would want to steal this thing? Like... <laughs> The, the person that I bought this from, they had a bunch of them. And so, I mean, they have to be getting these like from somewhere. Um, but there we go. There's the eight Data East games. They, the pe person who uh, resold this, they made sure to put some extra tags there. $5. Bad Dudes, Caveman, Ninja, Burger Time. You see the games. And then it's got 300 retro games packed in as well. Pretty awesome stuff. It's sealed on this side. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's new, but this side it's not sealed i don't know if it had stickers on there and i removed them or if it just never did i don't know but i'm pretty sure it was new when i got it but yeah we gotta we gotta plug this thing in and check it out so this one does not look like it comes with a standalone console they make a few versions of these there's another one the wireless one that came out i believe after this what the hell is that the fuck um, that has a little console and like 2.4 gigahertz wireless controllers. This one, I believe, this is kind of like that power player thing that we were looking at the other day, where the console is this thing. What is that? That's a select button? The fuck? <laughs> wow, look at that, like... Wow, the D-pad just pops right off. This, this reeks of quality, retro gaming goodness right here. This doesn't feel like overly bad. Oh, wow. Okay, so th where's the power? Oh, my God. We can't... We have to put batteries in this thing? Oh, my God. What is this? Okay, so here's a little extra controller. I guess that plugs in right over yonder. Maybe... Wait, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't get it. It says battery or USB. Can we just plug this in? Okay, I gotta, let's, let's bust out the manual. This is one of those times. There's also an option to insert the red USB-A plug located at the end of the main controller cable into a powered, oh, my bad, I'm a fool. The power cable's right there. So this, you could plug it into your TV or something. Okay, I'm, I'm like losing my mind here, dude. But there's, there's the setup. Is this like wireless? Has like a little infrared or something? What is this? Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Yeah, the, we're in for some fun here, dude. All right, there's just a few different languages. Okay, let's get this thing plugged in. This is going to be another um, instance of like not really using the RetroTINK 5X Pro for like the best possible use, but it's the only answer solution that I have. So. Let's plug this bitch in and check it out. All right, so we're all booted up and ready to go, and you get that kind of NES, Famicom, cheap Chinese multi-cart vibe with this thing, because essentially that's what it is. You got eight Data East games. Like, you know, Data East is a, a, a little bit of a whore when it comes to licensing out their properties. Everybody and their mother can license these games. I don't, I don't, I don't think they charge very much. I mean, some of these games are good. Don't get it twisted. 
So this thing's essentially just like a system on a chip with a multi-cart built into it type of thing. And you know, there's some fun to be had here. Uh, you can't use the second player controller as player one. Like you can't plug that into the uh, console and just use that. You have to use the console controller, which is kind of annoying. Um, and then that little tennis racket or ping pong racket, whatever the hell it's called. Uh, you're supposed to line the controller, the console controller up with your TV and that little sensor in the middle of it, that little round marble looking thing is supposed to, you know, trigger your swings or whatever. I can't find a game that it works with, so I I'm giving up on that. But there, there is some some magic here. There is some interesting stuff. Let's let's go through this and play a couple games. Uh, what? Oh, Kong King. That's, that's one of them I wanted to check out. And there we go. We got Harambe right there. And I was actually, I'm, I'm actually a, a little surprised. Like the graphics here don't look bad. Uh, I've been playing a couple games here and there. The freaking D-pad on this thing is so freaking iffy. Oh shit, we just died. Um, but graphics wise, it doesn't look bad. Obviously uh, there's gonna be some like, you know, hit detection issues, control issues and whatnot. This thing is very hard to maneuver, but there we go. I think I think we're Harambe. We're saving our little primate friends. Okay, now the D-pad doesn't want to work. Okay, jump over there. Get your stupid ass up there. And then we got to go over here. Throw shit at the white man. Throw his own poo. And then, and then save our little friends. There you go. Yay. All right, enough of that. What the hell is a jig chick? Oh, wow. Like... So the, there's going to be a, oh shit, like this D-pad is freaking horrible. You look like a, a, a chocobo and it's like Qbert. Okay. You can't get the real license. So you gotta, you gotta, you know, gotta make do with what you got. Like this isn't bad. If the D-pad freaking worked. Mad Christmas. Oh shit, Santa Claus looks pissed. Okay, so we're a little cute little teddy bear catching candy and presents. Okay, and why does Santa look like he's fucking angry, dude? Oh, he's throwing bombs at you too? He's like a sick sadistic mo mofo. Like, he's trying to, like, hey, little guy, I got you candy and presents. Yay. And then he like randomly throws like razor blades and freaking bombs at you. Okay. I don't know what the goal is. Like, you're supposed to get to a certain amount of points. This is like... Man. Game & Watch style gameplay here. What happens if I catch the bomb? Oh. Alright. There's 300 freaking games on here. We cannot play them all, but we're gonna play a few. Balloon Labyrinth. Oh. Um, okay. Like, the graphics on some of these games aren't bad. But I just died. I got disintegrated. It's just too bad the control is so, like, bad. Like, it wants to register sometimes, and sometimes it doesn't. So I'm assuming I'm supposed to get all these little balloons. This little... Oh, shit. We got killed. Yeah, next. Imagine you got this for Christmas instead of uh, the Nintendo Switch from your, your grandma. My little Timmy, here you go. You wanted that new video game system. And then you got this shit. And you're embarrassed to tell your friends about it. Oh, we got him. I'm so excited. Yeah, like the graphic style here is like not bad, man. Not bad, but the game is, these are all like just very simple games. So other than that, that Harambe game wasn't too, too bad, but you know. Like, there's, like... What the fuck am I supposed to do? There's, like, a, a common uh, theme here. Like, catching stuff. A lot of these games are just games where it's, like, you gotta catch stuff. I guess just get the color that you already are? Is that right? But no, we don't want the green ones. We just want the red ones. Okay, that's... Yeah, we're gonna become the Kool-Aid Man. Oh, yeah. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Give me the meat. Yeah, 
Maybe I just had to work in this D-pad a little bit. Chicken leg Berber. There we go. That eggplant on there. Yes, another one. Oh, some stank cheese. What the f Look at that fucking chicken up there with his little ass head and like buff bot like he's all like freaking working out and shit. He's up there just shitting out eggs. Like doesn't even make any sense the way this thing's walking. What is this game? Okay. This is fucking dumb. Alright, I'm done with this. You guys see this thing is garbage? I don't like it. Some of the games are okay, but yeah, I don't know. Was it worth the $5? Yeah, I guess. <sighs> Appreciate y'all watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye!